So it's time to take a look at the ancient spectacle of the Olympics, which delightfully has been revived in our modern age. Now as we look at the Olympics, as always, we're going to begin from the perspective of the ruler. And one of the things that's so valuable to rulers about the Olympics is that it finds champions. And this is absolutely critical for every ruler because rulers need champions standing by with unique skills and abilities that can accomplish the tasks or missions that no one else can. So how to find these champions is absolutely critical for a ruler. So as we look at the Olympics, we see some key things. First, you must symbolically include all. As a warrior, you must create a symbol, a governing symbol, which includes everyone. And when we look at the Olympics, that's one of the first things we see. The symbol of the Olympics, five rings and circles are together, right? We're in this as one, but you've got five rings, which are the five continents. And then you've got all these different colors. So everybody can kind of relate to one of those colors and find their place. And they see, oh, I'm involved in this whole, this linked, whole. Now if you look even closer at the detail here, you can see the artistry and the thought. Each of the rings is over top of and beneath one of the other rings. So that subtly suggests that we're not just in this together, but we also are so comfortable with one another that we can be both submissive and dominant. So it's a very well designed image that we all get it, even though we can't always articulate why it's so powerful. And one of the things that's fascinating about symbolism is symbolism isn't true. Is it true that the Olympics is the perfect unification of the world and everybody's involved? No, of course not. But the symbolism suggests that. And because we believe in the symbolism, we work to make it true and look at what the Olympics have become. We're trying really hard to make the Olympics what is displayed in this very simple symbol. So. Once you include everyone symbolically, then you must symbolically select one. And we see this in the detailed process that the Olympics goes through for selecting a location. It is incredibly complex, but it's so crucial to the Olympics because you must pick a location that summarizes all that the Olympics is about. And you get all these countries that want the Olympics to come to their country and they have to go through this process and it's extremely complicated. But there are three phases, so we can use that. There's three steps. Now when I looked around and tried to find what some simple three-step processes to make a decision, I just got confused because all these pictures and these ideas out there are just a mess. So I just threw them all out. And I decided, well, we're just gonna have to make up something of our own here, which will be fun. So the three steps to ruling. Step one, you must create your vision. Now, if you notice, there's nothing before this. Step one is you create your vision. You ignore everything, everybody, you ignore reality, and you create the vision in your mind as a ruler of what you desire. The ambitious expression that you want to bring into the world. That's the first thing you create. Only after that's finished, do you go to step two in considering your reality. So once you have the vision of what you want, it better not be what's actually here because that would be really boring. You don't want to create something that's already here. You want your vision to be different, unique, something that's not yet present. And once you have that vision, you can see that vision. You can look at reality and go, oh, okay. And you can start to see how to move from the reality you are now to the vision you desire. And here's where things get very interesting for a ruler. Since a ruler isn't action oriented, you're not actually going to take everybody in your kingdom from present reality to the future. So what do you do? You commission your champions, those unique people that are ready, warriors and wizards, to gather up all that's necessary to take everything from reality as it is to your vision and manifesting that vision, bringing it into reality. So there's your three steps to ruling. Create your vision, then consider your reality, and then you know how to commission your champions. And I know this wasn't necessarily part of the video, but you're welcome. So let's go back to how to find your champions. And we just saw you need to have those champions if you're going to achieve a vision. 
as a ruler. So, we've seen already that you need to symbolically include everyone. Then you need to select one location that represents all of what you're about. And then finally, you want to symbolically recognize many. If you notice the Olympics, they give out a lot of gold medals and bronze and silver. And it's a big deal. But if you look at the medal, it's just a hunk of metal with some ribbon attached to it. What does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. But as soon as you stamp that symbol, the five rings, and you put some cool little letters and imprints on it, it suggests that this is really meaningful. Now, does it actually have meaning? No, it's symbolic. But when people believe it has meaning, it becomes real to them, and then they make it real. And you see these individuals going nuts over this little hunk of metal with some ribbon. And look here, the, the guy symbolically standing on a podium made of, it's a box with some wooden paint on it and some tiles on the top. It's, there's nothing, it, it doesn't mean anything, but it symbolically is suggesting something and a ruler must create this kind of symbolism. Now, if it was just a box and a hunk of metal and a ribbon, it probably wouldn't work, would it? But the Olympics goes a lot farther than that. They create a whole atmosphere. So when you're on that podium with that chunk of metal and a ribbon around your neck, there's tens of thousands of people in the stand. There's millions of people watching on TV. Your flag for your country, symbolically you, is being raised and you have your anthem being played in this, this magnificent pageantry which is all symbolic, but we buy into it. And if you want to find champions, this is how you do it. You create this kind of glorious pageantry. It's all symbolic, but it's what discovers and creates these champions that you're going to need to do the real work, which is bring your vision into reality. So as a will, you actually create champions through artful symbolism.